Oh, wow. All my stuff is jacked up. Two second. Uh. Property? Well then, okay. Well, not quite sure what happened there. Um, hold on a second. Let this. Hold on a second. This is going to look weird, but I think this is the only way I can just. Fix it. Oh, OK. All right. There we go. That's. I don't like it. Um, What is wrong with my. Okay, hold on a sec. About as good as we're gonna get on this. Uh, hold on a second. Let me um, let me get the highs. Hi Brooke. Hi Sonia. Hi KP. Hi Yana. Uh, KP working and lurking. Pull out your lonely book during your lunch break. I got you. I got you. Thank you for the work, lurk. Uh. Let's see, Yana can't hang out today. Have to work. We're getting ready in a bit. Can I go as one of my top three illustrators? Love, love, love her books. I am actually so I uh I think you you shared it in Lucy's Facebook group. I'm actually doing the uh the same page that you must have just just finished up with the giant egg and the flowers and the two little little chicks. So I'm I'm that's actually the page that I'm gonna work on today. Uh weather's pretty bad here today. All kinds of oh excuse me. I just had some boba and I've got the hiccups. All kinds of tornado y stuff going on. Oof. Well definitely stay safe. But um yeah, so hi, hello. It's always fun when you start the uh the stream off with tech issues. I have no idea if something like happened yesterday with my um with my my laptop or or what because apparently settings were not were not quite um right. I don't know why my camera my camera super dark in my office. But we're not gonna be on this screen for so welcome to Episode one of the book club revived. If uh, you are not familiar with the book club, this was a series that I started way, 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 way back on my channel. There's like two episodes um, that uh, that I did, and then when I kind of was trying to figure out what I was going to do with this channel, it ended up getting aside. And so basically, the goal of this series was to um, pull out a book that had been tucked away on my shelf that I, I had either never colored in or that uh, maybe I had colored a, a page or something in or never finished it and then put it away. Uh, basically just a challenge to kind of like a, a use, your, use your hoard, but uh, I made it, I made my own name for it. So, and uh, there's no, Restrictions, no, 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 whatever media you want. And so uh, when I started doing live content again, we talked about this. I thought it'd be fun to bring it back and get you guys involved. So the plan is to do this uh, the first day live every other month, um, you know, scheduling, you know, barring unforeseen circumstances. And that's not to say that for special occasions, it might not be another lonely book club episode so there is a uh a hashtag for it uh if you are not following me over on instagram i am queen of flannel all lowercase no special characters you can find it in the um 
in the bio uh in my little about me page and the hashtag is hashtag lonely book club there's also a post over on the tab where i talk about it and the hashtag is over uh over there as well i don't have any up in here for it so um and i'm gonna flip to the top down and i'll talk about the next oh uh, the unfortunate incident that i'm bummed about but unfortunately it uh it happened it is what it is and i can't do anything about it so i had planned to do one more video uh for the series that we were doing in uh mythographic color and discover magical earth with the uh the rocks and the violinist and whatnot uh, there's a playlist for this on the channel and i don't know what happened yesterday i hadn't touched anything with my camera or my setup and um and so i sat down to record and i realized uh, like i i'm trying to figure out like how how it what exactly had happened i mean first off i was in like I, I was kind of in a not a great headspace yesterday so maybe i should have just not attempted to record but i'll be gone this weekend for work so i'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done gone and uh including you know getting my my uh footage ready so that i can edit later in the week and I sat down to record, and I don't know why, but my camera is like incredibly dark. It like changed anything with my lighting in here, and it was incredibly dark. So then I was like, "Well, what? What's the deal with that?" Um, and since I'm running the camera via HDMI, I can't control it through, uh, through the camera. And the way I record, the only way I can fix that is in post so whatever not a huge deal so i started recording and then when i looked over realized that my there was no audio which that's not a huge deal um because it was only about five ish five ish minutes of footage so I could have recovered from that and just done a voiceover and just explained, hey, my hands are going to be moving like I'm talking, but th this is what happened. But I had already been coloring for 10 or 15 minutes at that point. And the camera had cut out. So um, if it was one of the other elements on the page, it wouldn't have been a huge deal because I could have just colored another one of them. But sadly... I was working on uh, the violinist, the last element in the uh, the page, and there's only one of her, so I couldn't go back and fix it. And at that point, I was just like, "Well, what? Like, what do I? What do I do? Like, what do I do now? Like, I can't, I can't re-record this." And so I ended up just. Um, committing to finishing the background which i i wasn't entirely sure what i was gonna do with the background as it was and i wasn't um sure if i was gonna do that as a tutorial i, I just yeah so i ended up just sitting here and finishing up the background and then have the photo over on the uh the community tab with the combos over there so if you were following along with this series uh the combos are over on the community tab in a post and this is where i'm at with this image um so there will not be any more videos of this one uh i have the series um and then i will go in and finish up the remainder of it which is pretty much just the flowers the rocks the flowers and the rocks is pretty much the uh remainder of uh, of this one so that series has concluded and then of course after that debacle i was just over 
all of it at that point. And then I was like, well, now I have nothing for Saturday. Like, I have things planned for future videos, but I didn't have any supplies pulled. Um, I didn't, uh, I, yeah, I had, I have nothing pulled to record right now. And so then it was just kind, um, it put me behind schedule and I was just kind of in a sour mood the rest of uh, the evening. And I'm still not sure what is going on with the camera. Uh, it's like every time I, uh, close my program out, it just, setting my, setting my stuff. I, I have no idea why it's so dark in here because I've been changing. That's a little bit better, but not really, uh, like, actually, that's a little bit better. All that work, stupid technology, yeah. And you know what, though? I look at it this way. It only took me, like I said, about 10 to 15 minutes to color, like, to color this. So it could have been a lot worse if I had, if I... I had been going for 30 or 45 minutes and had an entire 30, 45 minutes of footage and lost it. There, yeah, I would have been way, way, way more angry than I was um, about this. It was more just disappointing. And then, of course, that scramble of like, well, I do now. So... But there she is. I like the way it turned out. And I just need to finish the rest of the flowers. So maybe I'll take it with me to drill this weekend. And, um, finish it there. But, of course, I have other things that I want to work on in the hotel this weekend. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to prioritize my projects. It's a little, yeah. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. And then part of me was like, you know what? I should have just taken an excusal for this this weekend. I don't need the point. My retirement is official and it really, like, I don't quote unquote need it there. Um, at this point, it's just the financial aspect of it. So, um, hi, Brittany. How are you? Hopefully everything goes well at the dermatologist. Thank you, KP. I appreciate that. But yeah, so there she is. She'll go up on Instagram once I um once I finish. Okay, so this is uh, this is my lonely book that I have chosen. Uh, we're going to work in Anoka Agusa's Symphony of Cute Animals, a curious coloring book adventure. I apologize for the glare. This has a shiny cover. And I have chosen this, uh, this image. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I, mine will turn out as nice as Yana's did. The crack this, crack this spine. Seriously, the camera is just atrocious today. Okay, there's a setting somewhere. Yes. figure out yeah I don't know if something happened when I unplugged everything to take my laptop uh to the library but but hey Mrs. French how are you welcome welcome of how the girl matches the flowers i tried i wanted her to like i wanted her to um like to stand apart but also 
incorporate some of the uh the colors of the flowers so i ended up using one of the purples that i used for the uh the water lily and then added two new colors in cohesiveness um but uh for this image i'm going to be working with the uh, the Derwent Chromaflow pencils, because if you have not heard, hashtag enabler alert, um, they are coming out with a 100 and a 150 set of the Derwent Chromaflows. Uh, from the info that I've got so far, they go on pre-order, uh, well, you can pre-order them now, um, but they're supposed to be released in the UK in May and in the US uh in july from what i've seen so far um and sonia and i were looking at the color chart the other day it looks like uh everything that's included in the one 150 set is not going to be sold separately so you'll be able to um you'll be able to get the new ones in the hundred um from what it sounds like open stock but then the the ones in the 150 the only way currently that you'll be able to get those is um in the 150 set so i haven't pre-ordered them yet i don't like i have some other financial things that i kind of pla like planning for um currently I will probably get them, but I want to see if uh, if any place does like a bundle, uh, kind of like they did with the ink tents. But this is a lot of new colors, so I'm not sure if that's going to be something that will happen. And it was kind of like, I think what was it, 28 for the uh, the ink tents, something like that. So it was a smaller a smaller number, but 72 to 150 is a pretty huge dump so I don't really foresee uh I could see potentially uh, like bundling the new colors up to the 100 but at that point you might as well just buy the 150 uh, I'm I'm curious to see what ha what happens with them um between now and when they drop so uh hi Pam how are you KP's trying to fight the, fo the FOMO, yeah. Yeah. And everybody's at the doctor today. Uh, recently bought the 72 count of Chromeful for my mom, for your mom, and they're delightful. They really are nice pencils. Um, I had to dig mine out because most of my Derwents that I use pretty frequently are in a big, huge, giant case that I took with me on my, um, on my deployment. And that thing definitely can't live or sit on my desk. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a maybe. They are coming out with a hundred uh a hundred and fifty set. There's gonna be um a one hundred set and a one hundred and fifty set. Like that's already been uh confirmed. I don't think that they have officially announced it on their socials, but the uh, the color chart is already out there. They, um, they I guess they, they announced them at the uh, Create Vision. So yeah, that is uh, that is confirmed. But uh, let me go ahead and start working here. Okay, so I kind of have an idea. Uh, let me pull this up. So I have a couple pictures that I've pulled uh, in my Pinterest and 
I started with a color uh, a color palette, and then of course I had to add I had to add to it. Um, so this was kind of what I was looking at uh, for the flowers and the chicks. So I have colors pulled for these, and obviously there's no. There's no green in this color palette, so I had to I had to pull some greens and a couple extra colors. And then I didn't save the I didn't save the picture that I had, but um I was looking at like flower bouquets just in terms of like distribution. So I have an idea and a color scheme for these, but um, I'm going to start with just blocking in the green on my greenery. I'm not going to do the detail work on it uh, right off the bat, though. This is just so, uh, so it's out of, it's got some color on it so I can see what my separation is. Um... Want to see what the new colors are uh hold on just a second let me get it out of if i can get to it on here i'll drop the link to the uh the color chart just a second There you go. That's the uh, the color chart, and it includes the new colors. Working with yours too started the page I've chosen in, in nearly two years ago. I think I remember um, you sharing because I know you're working on the uh, the violin guy from uh, Mythic World. I think I remember seeing you share a whip photo of that in uh, Corey's Discord. So I look forward to seeing what you what you. Uh, what you do with yours. How do the chroma flows compare to the prismas and the polys? They don't really. So these are primarily a wax based pencil, but they're a fairly hard hard lead. Um they definitely don't blend like like a prisma like you can't can't smush like uh like you would with a prisma um i would put them somewhere in between honestly i would i would compare them more to a harder version of the artex pencils but again I tend to use the majority of my pencils as layering pencils, so. Surprise, these are more skin tone colors, especially for coloring all the different types of skin, white skin tones and the darker brown skin tones. Um, I... I think Derwent tends to um, kind of cater more towards blending to get your to, to get your skin tones. Like even the polychromos. And granted, I know at one point they had pencils that were labeled as flesh tones, but even in the polychromos, there's not a lot of like dedicated skin tone colors. Um, Mrs. French, have you used any other, uh, any, any of the Durant brand pencils? Um, 
because it might be easier for me to compare them to another Derwent pencil if you use those. But I mean, like, you can kind of see as I'm going through this, even though it's pretty light, they lay down pretty, pretty smooth. Um, I have used them on the, the channel before. Um, I can't remember if it was, I think it was a video. I was working on the, uh, it's from Mythomorphia. And they have a pretty smooth lay down. I don't think they take um, as much work as the polychromos. But the blending is a little different. Um, only him one neuron pencil, the, the light fast red, and I've used it quite a bit. Um, Definitely a harder lead than the uh, than the light fast, and those are an oil based pencil, or primarily oil oil based. Oh, uh, Derwent lets other companies' websites sell the newer colors as a separate set. I mean, we were just kind of talking about that, and we were thinking that maybe from the seventy two to the hundred. But I doubt they're going to do that up to the, the 150. Um, I don't see that being a very, like, fi financially advantageous. Especially because right now, um, the new ones in the 150 aren't expected to be sold uh, open stock. And... That's a lot, that's a lot of new colors. You know, 28 as like a companion set for the Chroma Flows, I, I think is a bit more reasonable, but. But yeah, that, that would be nice. I actually have, um, I have two sets of, um, two sets of Chroma Flows. Yeah, I would definitely uh if you uh if you want to try them out, I would would pick up a small set. They're pretty they're honestly pretty affordable, even the smaller the smaller sets. Off to work with me. All right, Yana, have a good day. Don't work too hard. Surprising that Derwent won't be selling all one of his own flow pencils in stock. I mean, that's not to say that uh, that they won't change their mind down the road, but I'm sure they have a reason for it. Okay, I'm just trying to separate some things out here little purple flowers can you guys hear me okay i feel like my microphone is a little bit too high but also don't want it like my face i mean it's gonna be in my face anyways but
So there are a couple spots in here where I can see the little pieces of stem. That's flower, flower. I know what the reason is. It's too. It's all by the 150 set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll probably work in all I mean. I will probably uh, go through and bundle up some of um, my current Chroma Flows and just curate them and put them in a case and give them to my niece. And then I'll buy the 150 that because i know this sounds like pretentious but compared to some of the other like pencil pencil brands out there um if they're legitimately 140 ish dollars which is what the pre-order price is currently i think in the u.s that's honestly not bad for 150 derwent pencils Okay, so that was just to kind of separate uh separate out my lead. Don't focus on that. I can either type nor nor grammar today, yeah. I feel you. So my plan is I don't want too many different colors in these flowers up here, even though they're different types of flowers. So the bouquet that I was looking at had um it was kind of a, a peach, a peach colored rose with um some darker orange around like some of the, the folds in the leaves, and then another set of flowers that were a similar peach undertone. But with a darker orange so it looked pretty um pretty cohesive so i'm gonna attempt to recreate that with with this in the hopes that they look like they go together but that they're also different different flowers because there's only one rose um and then it looks like there's three of of these so that's my plan uh, my lonely book is witches coloring the spring witches and page with markers and follies. I don't think I who um was that book by. I feel like I've heard of it, but this is gonna be interesting. We'll see how this goes. And then I have zero idea what I'm going to do for the uh, the background. Um, they're on Amazon right now is what what we've found so far, but I don't have a link. And it's been intermittent to like to find them. Like sometimes if I go in and I search for Derwent Chroma Flow um, 150, the listing will come up. But then other times I go in to search for it and I can't find it. But um. When I take my break, I'll see if I can if I can find a link. Uh I have I don't think I've heard of that individual. But I am super excited that you're participating. 
that you, that you're coloring along. Hopefully this kind of, you know, inspires y'all to pull out books that maybe you've forgotten about. So, um, I, sorry, not sorry that I delayed the stream this morning. Um, when I was cleaning out my kitchen, I ended up making like a, just a little like breakfast casserole. Um, I found the recipe on Pinterest and I've had a thing of brie in my fridge for like ever that did to go. It's literally took me like 10 minutes to put, put together. It's, uh, croissant rolls um and you cut the croissants into pieces and then you dip them in like a seasoned egg mixture toss them in a greased casserole dish and then the egg rest of the egg mixture pour it over the top and then you cut up brie and black forest ham and you tuck it between the pieces and then top it with uh, mozzarella even though i use money that was what um what i had um, and then you bake it. And so sometimes when I'm cleaning my kitchen, I get a wild hair up my booty. And I'll either make something quick or I'll do like dinner prep. And I've got my kid home this week for spring break. So I figure if nothing else, he, he would eat some of it. So I made a breakfast casserole while I was cleaning my kitchen this morning. And then I was like, you know what? I just need like an extra 10 to 15 minutes to just sit here with this. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I'll send the uh, the recipe like super, super easy to to make. So I'm just trying to find my reference photo that I used here for this. Oh, I saved a photo of it. On my phone. So yeah, this is um this is kind of what I am. Well, actually, it was a tulip. I think that's a little bit darker. So yeah, this is kind of the the reference photo that. That I'm looking at, or not the tulip, the rose. So actually, my rose is a little darker. Yeah, I'll um, I'll just I'll drop it on the community tab when I'm done um when I'm done with the stream. Just be like, hey, we talked about my breakfast casserole. But yeah, I found it on um on Instagram the other the other day but yeah I'll um I'll drop it over there Oh uh, now I need to rethink my plan because Okay not not a huge deal we weren't too far far in here so I had it in my mind that the uh the roses were darker than everything else. And I mean granted I'm um I'm going a little bit lighter on this as it is. And I didn't I didn't color match to the picture of the bouquet. That was more just a uh 
like a, a disbursement. But yeah, these are a really, um, have a really nice like lay down. I will say though, in granted, this should kind of be a thing with the majority of uh, of pencils, um, except for maybe Prismacolor. <laughs> um, you should start out. I would start out with uh with lighter layers, especially because these are a wax based pencil. If you come in too hot it makes it uh really difficult to to blend them out and really difficult to erase so i kind of just treat them like um like the polychromos asking yourself why I've not used them is there they really are I I have am honestly surprised that they haven't phased out the pro color in favor of these because they they hold a point like the pro color so they're really nice for detail work, but they're soft enough to be used like on a more like regular basis. But I feel like this is supposed to be their um their budget their budget line I got I guess it's like I I don't know I wouldn't I don't want to say I wouldn't call them an artist grade pencil but I also wouldn't call them a student grade pencil I think part of the reason why I haven't used them lately is they just, they got buried in the big giant case and put under my desk and then, you know, planning tutorials and, and whatnot. Just, um, they got shuffled to the side. But they really are an enjoyable pencil to and isn't it like it's so weird so i I had a hard time figuring out what I was gonna take what I was gonna take with me um on the deployment in terms of like supplies and whatnot, and I at that point was largely using their um my polychromos or my derwent pencils. And I ended up not taking the polys and decided on, um, I took my ink tents, I took my Derwent watercolors, my chromaflows as my, and, um, my light fast as an oil based pencil just cause, you know. And so then I get over there and never fails i'm like man i really wish i had a set of prisma colors 
And so I ended up ordering, I think I ordered like 72, a 72 tin, tin set, even though I have the 150 set, had the 150 set here. And then I ordered a couple of the, uh, the smaller, like the smaller sets, a little like curated, like the floral set. I think I need to use an animal portrait if they're good for those they'll be able to justify the big set that's a good idea that's a really good idea but see like i'm able to get this like really like fine detail down here in the little little pieces of the the flower but also still able to get like a soft enough layer on here uh it's just gonna came but did you you're officially i am i am not officially retired yet that was just um me talking about my uh my deployment in we had there were there were discussions um back when I was getting ready to leave like what I was gonna take as far as coloring supplies but no i'm not um I'm not officially retired yet. I mean, honestly, I might as well, <laughs> I might as well be, and I don't really think a whole lot is expected of me anymore, and theoretically, like, I could, I could make any date between now and September, like, my quote-unquote last day, um, because I already have my, so you can put in for your retirement, um, up to a year before you want to retire. Um basically a year out from your from your from your 20. Uh but then you have to make sure that you have the years. So um as a reservist, if I want to retire with like a full my full pension at 60 you need 20 years of sat service and so you earn that with um with points from doing your uh your weekends and any other your weekend your one weekend a month your two weeks a year um your uh like if you do any man days or um any activations or or whatnot like that and then you basically get 15 points for for showing up the gimme points. And so you have to make sure that you have uh God. I like I honestly I've never had to worry about it. Hold on a second. I gotta <laughs> check something. So you need at least um you need at least 50 points for a good for a good year and uh for your drill weekends even though you're only there for like two days it counts as uh four four periods so it's worth four points and this is just for uh reserve and um pretty sure the guard kind of operates on the same like point system uh, for active duty, I mean, since you're there every every day, you just hit your twenty your twenty years, and that's your good. Um, but you have to be really careful in the reserves. Uh, if you reschedule a lot of drills, or you don't go on an annual tour, 
uh, or something something like that, uh, you can mess up, like mess up your ear. And everybody has what they call their um, like your your anniversary, and it's different for everybody. And that's the uh the period that they calculate your points in. So like for me, uh, my um. My year goes from 11 September to 11 September. So I have to make sure that I have my 50 points before my year closes out in September. And so like if you re if you want to reschedule a drill, you have to make sure that you do it within the, the current year or else you risk losing the points. And if you have too many uh excusals or whatnot then um you potentially mess up your year and it also if you're on a reenlistment bonus it also affects your bonus but um because i applied for my retirement so like close to my um my 20 it doesn't really uh affect me and it's weird how how it works out. So I have like multiple like multiple dates. So my anniversary year goes off of when I went into delayed entry, which was September eleventh of two thousand and three, and then I didn't leave for um for basic training until March of two thousand and four. So I get points from September. 2003 but my total uh years of service i didn't hit until uh march it's weird yeah it's it's weird because i was active duty for the first half of my career so um my my points are a little a little different but um, I hit 20 years of SAT service for the reserves in September and then 20 years of actual service in March. Since I am already past that, I could just basically stop. I could stop drilling now. Um, and really the only thing I would be sacrificing would be some extra points and um, and pay. And really, at at this point, like it's mostly just because I need the paycheck. Otherwise, I would just um be done and just be waiting until my retirement was official. And uh, no. I will not, um, I only have a few more months, so, and I'm currently non-deployable anyways because of, uh, the thyroid disorder that, that I developed on my last deployment, so, if I decided I wanted to stay in, more than likely I would get put on a med hold and I'd have to be evaluated, uh, because I was so close to my my 20 and had told them that I was planning on retiring anyways they kind of just put me on a profile and have largely left me alone but at that point I would be um non-deployable for a year and that's when they start looking at you for fitness of duty and so they can't well I can't say they can't just like boot me out but um It's easier to just for me to just retire and call it good. Uh, you don't need to thank me, but it is appreciated. I'm just a person who signed up to do a job.
it is just it's it's weird to be able to say that I twenty years. It was kind of funny though. So I had a um a point. I had an appointment with my primary care manager at the VA, who was also a veteran, but she was um army, and honestly, probably one of the best doctors, nicest people I've ever met. The older, you know, older lady, and uh, my my appointment and the nurse is uh is doing her you know her intake stuff. She says, oh, just to let you know, doctor is, uh, she's, she's, this is her last week and she's retiring. And I was like, oh, cool. So she and I can, um, we can, we can bond over retirement. And, um, the, the nurse just looked at me. She's like, uh, what are, what are you retiring from? Cause I mean, I'm only 39. So she's like, what, what? what what are you retiring from and i was like oh 20 years in the military and she's like oh wow congratulations and the look on her face was hilarious i always find that kind of kind of amusing and of course you know just going over to the va and i don't see a whole lot of um like female vets over there it always just seems to be me and the guys The old guys, I, I should I should add. Just me and the old the oldies. Look at my twenty years early. Oh yes, yes and no. I mean not not so much early. Um I was nineteen when I came in, so If I would have stayed active duty, I still would be, you know, that's that's a lot. A lot of times, how it ends up ends up working out. Some people stay past their, you know, past their twenty, but um, you know, with the the medical stuff and and whatnot, and just kind of where like where I'm at, um, there's not really a whole lot of um opportunities for uh for growth um in terms of like promotion which uh I don't really want to get into that but um there was nowhere really left for me to like advancement <laughs> Like I had, I had a plan, you know, um, and if, uh, if I felt like there was the possibility of getting, um, making it to senior, I would have probably at least extended just to see how things played out, but Any lieutenant women were allowed to join the active military. Yeah, I um was well nineteen fifty four was um. Yeah, uh, in integration into the the regular um regular component, and but that's not to say that they were treated equally. And then, of course, I I mean I can't say I remember, but you know, in the um seventies, eighties, and nineties, if you got pregnant while you were in the military they booted you they discharged you
definitely a uh, different uh a lot has changed Hey Stardust, how are you? Or well, I started a little bit later, so by like fifteen minutes because I was eating. How are you, Stardust? I actually really like the way this is turning out so far. Like, I don't want to, like, super, super, like, push push this. I, I want it to have kind of a, a lighter... Uh, women are not allowed to be in... Well, that's a whole, that's a whole different... Um, That's a whole different, ball, like, ball of wax. Like, integra integration into the regular, um, regular component was in 1954. But in terms of, okay, so there's combat career fields and then there's, like, combat, combat zones. So... Um, certain career fields that are designated as combat specialties, uh, that's, that's a little different. Um, and that's still, like, that's still a fight. Um, but that doesn't mean that, um, women aren't going to combat zones and working in, um, dangerous areas. this is a kind of pastel page i i think so i want it to be vibrant but um but also still kind of you know kind of pastel oh you were you were up late on the playstation it was my son <laughs> My, um, apparently, um, me and my husband pa passed, like, ships in the night at, uh, about 5 o'clock, 5.30 this, this morning. My husband was getting, getting up to, uh, to get ready for work. And my son was getting ready to go to bed. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really pretty combo, isn't it, Mrs. French? And these layer really nice too. Like I've I've got quite a bit of uh, pencil down here. Uh, did I? Did I yellow. Oh, shit, teenagers it's really you know that that spring break man hitting hard but whatever 
people have on the pillow taking first sips of coffee. I'm thinking about another cup of coffee. I'm all right. I um, I had a bit of a frustrating day yesterday, but such is life. And um, I was up fairly early this morning, which honestly I need to just, I need to just keep doing because um. I'm much more productive on the front half of my day, so got up and my coffee and some chill time, shower, dressed, cleaned up the small, um, the small animals downstairs, it was rabbit litter change day, cleaned up the guinea pig pens, started some laundry. Trash taken out. Made a tiny breakfast casserole. Your husband played uh, played Diablo four until two a.m. Nice. And I'm old. I'm usually like, I want to start dinner and have my kitchen cleaned up by six o'clock. And then usually by like six thirty, um I have my, my evening bonding time with the cats. They get their churu and then I'll watch some YouTube videos and I'm ready for like I'm ready for bed at that point. Hey Rainbow, how are you? book club day oh i think i remember you talking about arc being one of your um one of your favorite games i feel like we've had that conversation either here or in ryan's in uh ryan's uh Lost a friend of 15 years as a controlling girlfriend. Ooh. That sucks. I feel like I'm missing, like, stuff. Yeah, so I apologize. I do the best. I do the best I can. Yeah, these pencils really, like, pack a lot of pigment in here. I am here for it. Yeah, I feel it, like talked about. I've never played it. I used to play uh Dead by Daylight used to be my my jam. That was actually what I largely streamed over on Twitch. And then um I hit a point where just the the state of the game made me sad, so And then I was, I was trying to get back into Fallout 76 before my PC died. Oh, thank you. 
yeah, we've pretty much just ch just been on this one flower, so maybe we'll switch gears when uh, I come back from break. Or maybe we'll work on some of the leaves just because the other flower that I was going to go to next has a similar, um, similar color. I'll have to um try and remember to put the combo in the uh, the description. Definitely don't think I will be finishing this one today. Oh, hey, so um, I know I mentioned it over on the community tab, but I've been messing with um with thumbnails uh recently. Um what do you guys think of the the thumbnails on the last two the last um couple videos? I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to you know stick with like a certain font if I want to kind of create like a little brand kit, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of obsessed with fonts right now. Um I found some really cute ones on Etsy and I bought a lot of them. <laughs> Bought a lot of them because there was a sale. Um, are they like readable? Like, I, I guess is the big one because I was using. So I redid majority of my my thumbnails uh, a couple months ago off of like a Canva template, and. I am trying to get away from some of the subscription based stuff, so um so I'm trying making my own and it's it's really not like difficult. Um I've been doing them in uh Procreate and I kind of an amateur photographer anyways, so it's like that that aspect of it isn't you know difficult but if they're not readable that's that's an easy fix i can work on that if they don't stand out as like mine um it makes it easier to keep you know keep them like similar i just i'm kind of on this like wanting the you know the font and the vibe to match the uh uh the content of the the video whatever i'm coloring the thumbnails is like the um the little picture that shows up so like if you go to um if you go to my like my main channel page and you look at the videos it's the graphic that uh that you initially see that like tells you kind of like what the video is about usually it's got like a picture of like a the book that i'm working on or the image that i'm working on and then the text that tells you like um the kind of hope is that that initial little like graphic is what pulls people in and makes them want to watch the video
And so they used to be, um, I had uh, largely like, the uh the picture on the right and then on the left it was the uh they were usually like a red background with some little like graphics and then like title of the the video but i've been trying to make them a little bit um a little bit more concise and not trying to cram a whole bunch of info on the thumbnail but is it more as like an initial like to Kind of draw people in and then um yeah the text in the description as like the search based sonia likes them well, thank you sonia i appreciate that i just want to make sure that they're easy to read you know and uh aside from the uh the kirby book the last couple of videos hasn't haven't haven't done quite as well as I would have uh I would have liked so whether it was the video itself or the content of the video the the grass leaves See, that was the one that I was worried about was that the text was too small and I actually redid that one made the text a little bit bigger and they stand out from the canva templates okay good i canceled my um my canva canva pro uh membership i don't know how i forgot that that was 119 dollars a year and i can do that I I can make my own procreate for a fraction of that, so Okay. So I'm gonna try and at least get the base on um on these before I go before I take a break. Just because these are so uh, kind of crammed in here. And they're easy to read. All right. And it was nice because I was using my um my eighty dollar photography backdrops that I bought a couple years ago that have been sitting in a case buried behind my chair. So I pulled those out and I've been trying to use some things that I have. Yeah, this is where it gets a little tricky trying to figure out under here what's what. But yeah, part of me even wants to um, cancel my Soundstripe subscription. Uh, apparently, they changed some things. I thought I was paying for Soundstripe, um, and apparently, I, I got rolled into like a free subscription. So I ended up bumping it up to like basic. 
and um I like the music and all, but apparently the option to clear copyright issues by pasting your like it should be like automatic since my channel is linked to my account. But then there used to be an option where if you had issues, you could paste the uh, link to your video on the website and they would review it and help clear the uh, the issue. And apparently now that's only a feature. And I've had issues with the jazz playlist that we were listening. We, we listened to quite a bit during the streams. Um, on my last two live streams, there was one particular song and I couldn't even tell like what the song was. Um, it gave me some weird like name and, um, I couldn't link it to any of the songs on the playlist. And because I'm not a premium Soundstripe user... Now I can't have them clear it. And so it was either share my revenue with the rights holder for that song or mute out a segment of my video. So I ended up just muting, like just muting that segment of the video. But then that's three minutes of my video that I either have to trim out or uh, share half of the revenue that I earn. To somebody who I don't even know what the song is. Yeah, like I'm honestly like I'm over the the whole subscription thing. It's like I um I canceled my I my uh Adobe my. I was on like an old like legacy photography plan that had uh Photoshop and Lightroom and a couple other couple other things on it, but I haven't really been using Lightroom. And I would at this point prefer to have like Illustrator. But if I had kept my old plan, which was a hundred and nineteen a year or something like that and I wanted Illustrator, it'd be another $20 on top of that. Like, separate, like, separate fee. And that's $20, like, a month. And then I have um, Fresco on my iPad, and you can use Fresco for free, but if you want to be able to, like, import any of your, like, Photoshop brushes or anything like that that you've purchased elsewhere, into Fresco, you have to pay for it. So that's $9.99 a month. And then somebody was like, well, if you have Photoshop, it should come with Fresco. Well, mine doesn't. Because I had a photography plan. Can't just like a la carte stuff. It's all but like bundled together. Their a la carte option. Oh, well, it's $25 extra a month for additional like program that that you want that's not affordable so i'm trying to figure out like is it gonna be better to just cancel all of my adobe they have like the creative um uh creative cloud Which is, I think it's Illustrator, Photoshop, possibly InDesign. I'd have to look. Yeah, I I've used GIMP before, and I'm not a fan of the um the interface. As horrible as it, like, I just I. As much as Adobe frustrates me, I'm comfortable with their um, with their interface. So it's just, I mean, I, I can write it off as a business expense. 
I just, it's just irritating that that's what we've come to. And I know a lot of people left, um, left Adobe for uh, Affinity because they were tired of the subscription-based model. Well, Affinity was, um, Affinity was bought out by Canva. So now all of the Affinity users are like, well, great. So I'm probably going to get sucked into some subscription-based crap that is the whole reason I left a subscription-based program. Um, was not have a subscription program, and now I'm going to get sucked into a subscription based program again. Mom's having a hoodie made rainbow kitten for your Twitch logo on it. Oh, that's cool. But I use, um, I mean, it's good for basic, for basic stuff, but I also do some more advanced stuff in Photoshop. And I have a bunch of stuff for the program. Sucks that Affinity has been bought by Canva. Yeah, I, like, I saw that and people were not happy. Just a bummer. Corporate greed. The Tor the Torani coffee flavors, those are pretty good. I like the vanilla. Okay, I said I was just going to block this in and then I was going to go on break. Here I am. Past the blocking in phase. Four huge bottles. That's a lot. That is a lot of caramel flavoring. Okay, so I'm layering the, the melon color over this yellow because I used the melon in the rose over here and I want them to have a similar tone. That is my attempt at cohesiveness. Had a bad batch of chroma flow pencils? Like what um what do you mean? How were they bad?
not glued in the pencil and the leads kept coming out of them. That's un unfortunate. I've had two sets and I haven't had, um, I haven't had that issue. Where did you get them from? Yeah, that sounds like they may have been, um, that they may have been, uh, fakes because I've had two, two sets and I got them when they first were released. And I think one of, one, if not both of my sets came from Amazon and I've had zero like zero issues with them, especially on sharpening, because these are a pretty like firm, like firm lead. Like, honestly, like, I mean, and obviously since they didn't come from, um, like, Derwent, I would have taken pictures of them and sent them to Derwent and been like, hey, um, I know you probably can't help me out because I got these on Amazon, but these are some pictures of, uh, pencils that I got that say they're Derwent Chroma Flows. Can you? they may have been able to look at him and been like, yeah, that's not, that's not our product, you know? Yeah. Especially if it's, um, like from a third party seller on Amazon. All right, Stardust. Yeah, I'll be I'll be here for a while. But I do think that it is almost break time. I'm honestly surprised there's not a tiny cat screaming outside my door. I still will buy from Amazon if the deal is good, but I am a lot more careful with stuff like this of making sure that it comes either from Amazon or from the, um, like the distributor and not like a third party seller, unless of course, like it's something that like, uh, like 
or whoever like sells on on yeah she's um i don't know it's weird because like just when i think she's outgrown needing a lunch then she all of a sudden it's like a growth spurt and decides she needs a lunch Not someone we've never heard of. Yeah. I just try and be a little more, like, mindful of it. Of course, then she'll, she'll do what she did yesterday, and she'll, uh, she won't come out at lunchtime, she'll come out, like, an hour later, and by that point, it's like, now nah, we're too close to dinner now, cat. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick, what's growing kitten got it gonna do? She's currently, she's currently back to sleeping in my husband's sweater drawer underneath our bed. So we joke that when she, um, she goes through spurt where she's sleeping more inside the sweater drawer, that she's in there baking, because every time she comes out, some part of her has gotten like longer or taller, whatever. I actually really like the way this is turning out so far. I might have to evaluate for these down here, but all right, I'm gonna take a quick break, go see if the kitten is up. My breakfast casserole away make myself coffee and i will be right back so i'm gonna put on for you guys flip it over to the other screen talk amongst yourself i will be right back
I'm back. But we're gonna we're gonna chill for a minute while I have some of my coffee. I didn't really want to buy a new chair, but it's like every time I sit in this in this one, it um it like drops down. So I think the like little hydraulic thing in it is not the greatest. So, um, Sonia's seen this, but I'll show, I'll show it to the rest of you guys. Let me find it. I got to get into Procreate here on my iPad. So, I've been working on some, um, some merch designs. So, eventually, I'd like to... Um, kind of revitalize my Streamlabs store for now. I think that's a, a good a good starting point because I don't really feel like I have enough to start like a website. But I put this together after our conversation from last week. And then I'm trying to come up with some other other ideas. I'd like to have a few things to put out before I before I go that route. So need to start thinking about making dinner in a minute. I always forget like you're way ahead of love the jam jar so much. It'll be a mug eventually. I promise you. And then I was working on, um, well, I haven't started any concepts for it, but I do want to do kind of my own, like, this is not a, um, this is not a paint cup type, type thing. It's hard though, because it's like, I'm looking at other, like, I look at other stuff for like inspiration, but obviously I don't want to copy people are doing you know I, like I want to be inspired to like create my own designs so the live streams definitely help you know because the conversation a lot of times like sparks those ideas kind of like the um like you know like the the French ultramarine Seventeen thirty-seven. Apparently, the kiddo is hungry. Ooh, yeah, feed that baby. Have to have a, a wide, a wide seat chair. I just have like one of the gaming chairs, and I like it, but it was really like not a super expensive chair. Granted, that I start. When did I start streaming on Twitch? Twenty eighteen ish. Holy crap. Yeah, so I've had this chair for like six years. Ish. Five, five, well, I've been in the content creation community for about six years. But I didn't transition to that setup for, gosh. Um, when was that? I've had this chair for about five or six years. Change the summertime this weekend if not caught up yet. Oh, the dreaded like daylight savings time. Blech. Where'd my phone go? In my pocket. Daylight savings time is gross.
messes me up for longer every year. Hi, Soup. How are you? Yeah, it messes me up for longer every year, too, but I think that's because I'm old. Eight hours and three three people watching. Yeah, the um the average viewers takes a like that that takes a little bit. I can't remember how long it took it took me. But it is a bit it is a bit grindy. I mean it was a bit gr it was a bit grindy getting partnered here. Getting too old for this? Yes, this is this is true. Too old for daylight savings time. Okay, so I know this song is it's royalty free, but it has very ACDC like Tones to it, vibes to it. I'm definitely getting too old for just most things in general. Although I do like this song. All right. Let's get let's get back to it. Um, I'll bring some of this in. Reviewer average is usually the hardest part for affiliate on Twitch, but if you find some good people to chat, Lurk, I'm sure you'll get it soon. Yeah. It's just a wee bit grindy. How's your day going, Soup? I think I need to bring this yield up just a little more. A little bit. Just, just, just. You'll get there. It just takes time. And if you're doing art and coloring over on Twitch, I mean, art itself um, is is fairly popular over over there. Coloring, not so much. So it's a little harder to, to gain traction just doing like adult coloring over on Twitch. Woke up early, drove Mrs. Soup to work, and got a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. A lot. Trying to be productive, get test out the Streamlabs issue soon, and I'm kind of dreading it. Have you, um, so I know when, when it happened yesterday and we were, like, looking on their social medias and, and whatnot, um, have you checked social media, like, their social medias or anything like that to see if anybody else, now that it's been a little while, um, 
has had similar issues and maybe just when when it was happening yesterday not many people had reported it sent me a dm on discord okay hold up Let me take a look. Because uh, I didn't get a notification that you sent me anything. Uh, let me let me close Discord and open it back up. Yeah, I don't have anything from you. I saw you posted um, in my Discord. Well. Okay. Just got it. I will definitely, um, I will definitely go in and do that when I'm done with the stream forgot to send it i i do that too You know, Sonia, I know that you're probably cooking dinner, but if you're still listening, maybe pulling these pencils out and using them was not the best idea to to get us to realize we don't need the 150 set. Because I'm not going to lie to you, it really just it it really just makes me want the 150 set now. And I mean, like, I've used these before, so I know what they're all about. But part of me was hoping that I would get them out and just be like, nah, not in, not enjoying this. Not, I don't need the 150 set. And really, I'm just kind of like, 150 set. Send a message when you get a reply because they didn't actually send anything. Okay, I don't want to listen to, like, people sing over top of me talking. Not a bad song, but... Say, I want the big set. Um, it's, it's coming out. Uh, it'll be, I think, May in the UK and, uh, July in the US. But you can pre-order them, at least on Amazon from what we've seen. But if I use them a lot now, I'll need the replacements. This is true. True. And then I'm just going to tell my, I'm just trying to tell my, like I'm, I'm cycling between, I don't need them. I'm not going to buy them. And it's for the content. It's for the content, and I can write it off. It's a business expense. They're actually, it's actually not that bad. I think the pre-order price is like $140, which for Derwent, for 150 pencils, is really, like, is, isn't that bad. <laughs> For the content. Who knows? Maybe by then I'll have made enough on YouTube to, like, to buy them. Sick. 
the part of me, you know, the price right now is really good. And I think that's that's kind of where they get you. It's because I have been thinking if I want if we want the pre-order price like locked in, maybe it would be better to pre-order them because as soon as they drop, that price is gonna skyrocket. I mean, one hundred and forty dollars for the like for for here isn't bad at all either. Because then that's like I I was thinking about it. And I was like, man, do I want to bite the bullet? I think we're all talking to each other into pre-ordering them. Yeah, I mean, you know what? At least we're trying to be like logical about it. And we're not just like, buy it, just, just buy it, just do it, you know, with no like thought behind it. Just as bad as Prisma? Uh, Prismas are pretty cheap. For the most part. Except for like around certain times of the year. Just buy it now. Now, now, now. That's... Yeah. I just... I'm really trying to not overuse the, this is my job, it's for my job. Even though it's for my job. Maybe when I, <laughs> you know what though? I did cancel my, my Canva premium subscription and that's $119. So maybe I could just look at it as I'm, I'm putting what I would have spent on a Canva subscription towards the, towards the pencils. Hashtag logic. I'm almost there then. I gotta find another subscription to cancel. Although, see, now that I'm making my own thumbnails, I can justify keeping my Adobe subscription. Even though they make me sag. Uh, and since I, um, since I blew my video for this weekend and need to figure out what, like, what else to do, I might need to pull another one off of my idea list 
or rather y'all's idea list because it would be coming from a suggestion from the community community tab maybe i'll use the chroma flows on that Or I just completely go back on what I said about videos this month not focusing or not using any specific medium and I just use the Chroma Flows for the whole month. Hashtag Chroma Flow April. Do a Chroma Flow combo for something? I could. I actually, um... Oh, soup's gonna soup's gonna hate this. Uh, one of the one of the gens had had mentioned wanting to see a tutorial on mushrooms, and I'd asked if she wanted like realistic or stylized. And uh, there is a page in one of my Kirby tester books that has mushrooms on it. So I actually think that I could do, um, I could actually do a pretty, like, condensed, uh, mushroom tutorial with the Chroma Flows and do one kind of like a realistic and one more like a stylized funky, funky mushroom. There he is. I have to give the people what they want, though, Soup. And the people want a mushroom tutorial. There's so many great foods out there to color. Why choose mushrooms? So, I won't be coloring it as a food, though. I will be coloring it as a, as a plant. Because the theme this month for tutorials is plants and potentially springtime creatures and animals. And that is a good point that people are probably going to be looking more for more like Chroma Flow tutorials. That's why we're friends, Sonia. So, soup is not a fan of mushrooms, just all around. And he did a uh, a wheel of torture on one of his streams for a a, a subathon, and I had a hand in picking some of the uh, the things for the wheel, and one of them was that he had to. Um, he had to eat mushroom soup and mushroom soup live if we met that sub goal absolutely met that sub goal so he had to eat the mushroom soup live on stream and it was glorious and now there's a command in his channel that triggers the clip of it It's one of my proudest accomplishments in life, I'm not gonna lie. Venus flytrap is a cool plant that isn't a disgusting pizza topping. I don't think I have any Venus flytraps in any of my books though, the thing. And I mean, the mushrooms won't be the only plant I color this month.
nobody lets you forget that horrifying day and we will never let you forget it as long as you stream and even if you stop streaming probably never gonna let you forget it Did I not pull? I did. Okay. Did I not pull a dark brown? Come on, you get it. I'm gonna do the same. Actually, this is the base color. need to go look for mushroom picks in a few books uh well uh, i definitely know that there's a crap ton in um joanna bassford's books there's a bunch in um kirby's books i love mushrooms as a subject to paint color and on pizza in soup. Oh. Oh, I may need to pull the giant case out. Brown isn't white in it for me. Or uh Completely unrelated, but how do you ban on here? Are you gonna are you gonna ban Sonia for her love of mushrooms? That's a good question. Son. Uh It doesn't even look like there is a ban option, but if you click on the, like, the white dots, you can put a user in timeout or hide them. So I'm not sure if that, if, like, that's the equivalent of banning over here on the YouTube. Oh, okay. You guys are silly. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to bring in the black. Okay, I don't hate this. Hate the, I don't hate the way that looks. Except for here, need to blend it out. Even the emojis are, are weird. Um, yeah, those are like the uh, YouTube emojis. Apparently the only way I can use custom emojis over here is if I, oh my God, the, whatever this song is, it's like. Um, yeah, apparently the only way I can use custom emojis over here is if I uh, if I do the memberships. <laughs> Which I guess really isn't so different than the subscriber emotes over on Twitch. But I can't do like custom uh Custom follower emotes or anything like that. <laughs> I 
What is that? Is that like the sm is that the smug face? What is the equivalent of lol? Uh, maybe. Hold on. Got this green guy. Gappa. I actually kind of liked, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> he kind of looks like he just farted, <laughs> like he silently farted in a crowd of people. <laughs> And he's just over there like, mm. <laughs> Oh, man. Cry laughing over here. That makes me laugh. Whatever that face is shall for henceforth be known as the the fart face emo. And this song sounds like some weird version of uh I'm uh America song from West Side Story. It rem uh, it reminds me of now it reminds me of that plus that scene from Liar Liar where he's in the elevator and he silently farts in the elevator and then turns around and gives it's me it was me when he gets out and because he kind of made that face. Now I kind of want to watch that movie.
oh man, it's raining outside, so I'm going to have to figure out another place to take my thumbnail photo to redo the thumbnail for this... ...for this stream. Uh, happened over here. Uh, it's like I'm debating on whether or not I want to switch gears and work on a work on a, another flower with a different color because we've been doing a lot of yellow and orange but it's also kind of at that point now where it's like if I stop then I lose my groove of my my coloring my combo so that it's better to just keep going with um, where I'm at and just finish it. The, the beast has been fed. Apparently my beast fed himself as well. Not with the lovely breakfast casserole that I made. But whatevs. Whatevs. I will say, you know what I will say about these pencils? One thing that kind of um, is a, a little bit of a, a down side to these they're a bit thinner than the majority of the um, the other pencils in the Derwent line. And I think they're... Let me see. I have them on my... For another project. And they're a bit thinner than the Polychromos as well. And... I find myself gripping them a little harder than I do on some of my other pencils. And so my hand, my hand actually kind of hurts a little. I wish they were chunky. Yeah, that would be the only like negative that I would, I would give them is that they're a little on the thinner side. Like, it's not too bad on, like, initial layers, but then when you start burnishing and, um, and really, you know, like, blending, it's a little, it's a little.
but they are definitely not a full figured pencil. <laughs> So oh, we may end up working on this on another live stream this month. Carry the uh, the spring theme, but I don't want to do it like back to back. Although, if I legitimately can't find a project for next Tuesday, maybe I will just... Maybe I will just keep working on, on this. We'll, we'll see. Because um, next week is going to be kind of... Kind of snug content wise because I'm gone all weekend. And then I know I have uh, an appointment on one day. And despite the fact that the appointment is relatively early, the last one uh, I sat for 45 minutes in the waiting room after my uh, appointment time had passed before they finally came and got me and then after the tech did his his thing i sat in the exam room alone for like an hour ish before the doctor ever came in so it has the potential to be a substantial portion of my day and on top of that i have um meter reader or i have meter people from the gas and electric company coming on wednesday to upgrade one of my meters so i'm going to have to carve out time um when i come back to tidy up my laundry room so they can actually get in there So I'm trying to figure out what to do for next week. And I mean, that's not to say that I can't do some, um, some editing on Monday, but that relies on me being able to get double footage recorded tomorrow and Thursday. So I probably won't go to the library this Thursday. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen next week. You know what? I actually think for blending, 
I like the uh, Chromaflow white better than the Prisma white. It's not quite as opaque. And sometimes I like I don't want to use the white like for a stark highlight, but I need something to blend other things out. And this isn't like it's just smoothing out my edges, but it's not altering my colors. And I, I feel like I just heard like a, a billion Prismacolor white lovers just cry in unison. Okay, and I'm sure there's some work to be done to this um, that I can't, can't really see with the camera in my face. I always have a bunch of white pencils in a jar on, on your desk. Are they Prisma Wyatt's? I, I guess because I was doing watercolor for a hot minute that I got used to just preserving the white of the paper. But I actually really like this white pencil. Okay, so I am going to ears and I'm going to work on some of these leaves, I think. And these are 
definitely gonna need some adjusting here. Rainbow's going for more coffee. Uh, that's much better. Lay that yellow down in between the layers. Oh, thank you, Sonia. I appreciate it. Yeah, I brought in some of the um, the yellow I used on the flower because the the green the the greens I picked are a little more on the blue side. But just adding that little little bit of. Um, yellow between my layers kind of uh brought some of the the cohesiveness back i should just put i should just make that a mug just a mug that just says cohesiveness because apparently i say that a lot oh thank you sue
I don't think this set has an indigo blue, so the closest I can get is this denim color. It does the job. Oh, you know what I could do, Sonia? Oh. I can't do it for every color, obviously, because that would be just insanity. But maybe I will also make a version of the um, the French Ultramarine is my jam jar and change it to indigo blue is my jam and then just change the color of the jam to indigo blue. And we'll have a French Ultramarine is my jam and an indigo blue is my jam. Oh, sh son of a building block. This is a fiddly little, little bit that I am having a hard time seeing because I can't get my I can't get my head under the camera. I'm kind of like kicking myself for not working in these in these books sooner. Like I have all of her current like I have the the non English editions, I guess, because I've had them forever. I got them before the new the new releases came out on like Amazon and whatnot. And I don't know if it was just like when I got them, like they they intimidated me or, or what or why like why because it's gorgeous like it's gorgeous art so i'm not quite sure why i never actually finished a page in these books uh sorry as long um pass by to say hi interrupt user chocolate and you spilled your coffee on your playstation troller oh no Page. Hopefully, it didn't get like down inside all of the components and whatnot. Yes, hopefully, um, it's not damage. I know those controllers are, uh, not cheap. Oh, 
Puffy might went down on it. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're expensive. And then there's like a fancy controller that's like $200, apparently. My kid was pinging about that for Christmas. And I was like, I'm not buying you a $200 controller. If I do, that'll be the only thing you get for Christmas. console for 80 bucks you could buy the you could buy the console and like a couple games for 80 bucks One fifty available on Amazon Dispatch within one to two months is a hundred and fifty euros. Or that's not euros, pounds. My bad. Hi, Debbie. But yeah, they're not officially released until like May. with at least one controller a video game and a free subscription to nintendo power magazine oh man that takes me back but yes we have uh that's i, I mean that's part of the reason why uh why we're we're showing the chroma flow some live Gotta use the ones I have so I can justify buying the 150 set. I honestly anticipate when they're first released, the price to go up. They usually, um, when there's like a big demand for it, they'll jack the they'll jack the price up for a while. We were talking about that as well, whether or not it, it might just be better to 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 pre-order them that way you get them at the pre-order price. Got another leaf under there. It is, you little sneaky hiding under there from me. But I see you. This is not my first rodeo. The gun with the original antenna. Yes. I used to um stand right at the TV and put the duck hunter gun like right on the on the screen. Uh 
I don't like the way this looks. But I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. Yes, the old square giant box tube TV. You're collecting the uh, illustrator markers. Nice, nice. I'm still working on my Copit collection, but I've I've cooled my jets on on that for a little a little bit because I bought quite a few over Christmas because Joanne's was doing their buy three get two. 50% off or some buy three get two free and I mean I can't pass up free markers so Any of y'all uh, nin Nintendo era gamers remember, um, I think it was Super Mario Brothers 3, and it had that little, like, we, we always called it the, the Stomp World, and it was at the very beginning of the, um, the map, and before it wasn't like, it wasn't like a level, uh, but you could go in and like kill some bad guys and earn a couple like extra lives um and if you went in there with like if you were playing like two player and you went in there with uh with another player and you bounced them in front of an enemy and they got killed you could take their lives I used to do that to my sister and I would take her in there and intentionally bounce her in front of the uh, the bad guys and steal her life. So she'd start out with like one life and then of course she'd get mad and, and tell on me. And then I remember the um the first Super Mario and there was that that like time warp thing at the very end so like you'd beat the game and you'd go through the door and if you didn't hold like up on your keypad it would freeze and like all your work was just like for nothing. Oh, I and of course cuz I mean I was fairly young and um Obviously, you know, there was no, like, internet or whatnot, and I didn't have Game Informer magazine at that, at that age. Um, and so, yeah, I, I didn't know it was a thing until afterwards, and then we're at the store, and I see it in the magazine, I was like, son of a... One more art supplies, but I have to get more space and money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, um... I was looking at um, office rental space in the area, but mm -hmm. I need to uh, be able to justify that with what I make on YouTube, so... Making a jumping motion with your controller when I jump. Yeah, yeah. You, you like, you gotta just the whole thing into it. It's like a whole body, whole body movement. I still do that.
can't do this song. This kind of nauseous. Okay, so I was looking at these as being like exposed to the light, but I'm thinking this area right here is actually the inside of the egg. So I don't really need a substantial highlight for this leaf. So now that I've reassessed, We're going to darken this up. Done calling for now as you're stuck with a cat on your lap. No, like all my cats are being like super lazy today. Like Lorna didn't come out for a lunch. And part of me wants to be concerned. But <laughs> also it went from being like warm to rainy and gross and so i don't know if they're just screw this weather type type day you know and i mean she's been fine otherwise she really likes the sweater drawer i guess uh what is the most desirable art supplies that i want to get but haven't yet i I mean, I would like the 150 set of the Derwent Chromaflows, so I guess that's, like, the highest on my list. And I would like to finish up my Copic collection, but honestly, I have made some significant purchases at random intervals over the last two years um and there's not really anything that i don't that i i could say off the top of my head that i oh my god i need like yesterday type type deal um i'm been in a fairly like fortunate position in that respect and I have um timed my my large purchases with you know like I um I came back from a field exercise and budgeted out some of the money that I made from um, from that, especially considering I spent my birthday in the field that year. So I bought myself a birthday present out of some of what I earned from that. That was the light fast pencils. Four tubes and three of those I found secondhand for a steal. Yeah, the DS paints are pretty they're they're not cheap in the kitchen, I, heard the doorbell ring. I don't want to talk over it guy yeah there are definitely things that i would like to try um but I don't need Oh my gosh, why is all the I don't want to talk over the singing Too much into the I prefer pencils before you're before you're done i mean if you're legitimately into um into wanting to learn and use acrylics there are ways around that um i have a stay wet palette and i'm trying to think 
what it is. I know there's a um I know there's a medium that you can get to mix with your acrylic paints that gives them a little bit more of a uh a working time. Intense pencils are fun. Oh my god, why is this entire playlist people singing? I just instrumental music. Give me the instrumental music. Cool, now we get creepy circus music. Nice. Still have the original metal prisma tin and the one you got second hand. You know what? You just gotta use use what you have. And then by the time you use them up, then you can tell yourself, well, I have earned a new set. I know that's easier said than than done but I actually have um, my husband's old. He had the uh, the big expensive wooden box, and you can definitely tell that there's a, a difference in there was a difference in manufacturing between uh, when that one was made and. Um, when the uh the newer ones were made because then i also have a 150 box of like the newer a newer 150 box yeah that's expensive dang Um, have you looked on any of, like, the, like, Blick or...
Oh, yeah, usually they're cheaper on Blick than on Amazon. Everything is way more expensive here. I mean, everything, I feel like everything is expensive everywhere nowadays. All those CEOs that missed out on being able to buy their 27th yacht during COVID, now they've got to, they got to make up for it. Can you like can you order um stuff from Blick online? Because I mean I don't have a Blick near me. There's only um a handful of brick and mortar Blick stores, I, I think. They're not like um it's not something that's like everywhere. Oh, yeah, or maybe in the bathtub is a bath bomb. No, no, I mean, like, all of the, uh, like, the CEOs, you know, like, all of the big wigs of these, like, corporations that... Nobody was buying anything during COVID. Uh, aren't they just in the USA? I mean, they're not, uh, they're not everywhere. Flick ships, um, Flick ships outside of the USA, like off their website. But as far as like their brick and mortar stores, there's only a, those, there's only a handful of those. The majority of their, uh, their sales come from online. Oh no, you're good, Stardust. I know what you meant. But yeah, I think there's a Blick in, I know there's one in California. There's one in New York City. But um, it's definitely not a, like an everywhere thing. There's one in Georgia, too. Who lives? I don't want to order from Timo or sites like it. Yeah, Blake does um, most of their stuff on like online on their website, and I'm fairly certain they ship the majority of products, like pencils and stuff. I I mean I have no idea as far as like the import fees and 
um, and whatnot. Obviously, you know, there are certain things uh, you probably wouldn't be able to get alcohol markers shipped. Or, like, any kind of, like, solvents or anything like that. Although, maybe you could get alcohol markers shipped, but it would probably take forever because they'd have to go ground. If you wait, it'll load into your game. Oh, that's a long time to wait in a lobby. Okay, and I'm noticing now that I missed Gotta fix that. Talisman Online. I am not familiar with that game. Circle. Uh, everybody's checking out the new content. song in the background. I have no idea what the name of it was, but I know I've heard it somewhere on Soundstripe before.
not sure I like the choice I made on this one. to see if I can bring this back me before I commit see what I can do Wish the sun was out here. I don't know where that blue came from, but that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So let me. Okay, yeah, that's kind of the uh, the vibe I'm going for. Is I wanted a little bit of that bluish purple. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit more what I was what I was going for. Although I'll have to see how I feel about it when um the rest of them are colored. Cuz yeah, my reference photo does have their it's really subtle, but there are some um, of a kind of a similar color palette in the uh, in the background there. So we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. But I am gonna take just a minute to separate out my pencil. Oh. So, Okay, so that was my base color, and then I had lilac and violet. The the orange one, the rose over here. Yeah, I like the way that one turned out. I hear the pitter patter of teeth. Or
thought I heard the pitter patter of teenager feet outside my door, but must have just been going back downstairs. I haven't gotten as much done on this as I would have liked. But I do like the uh, way it is turning out so far. Well, thank you, Sonia. Yeah, I just feel like I'm like I didn't get as far as I as I typically would at this point. But you know what? It's okay. We don't need to. I don't need to rush. It's not like I'm. in some kind of a competition it just I definitely need another um another whip day cuz I feel like I'm in at the point where I have uh, too many unfinished projects. But we'll see what, um, What I can get done in the hotel this weekend. Like I'm almost done with the the magical earth. It's really just flowers and rocks. I don't know, maybe I'll just do something. 
I can do a February, March completed pages video as a uh, for next week. And if nothing else, if I have to postpone or if I have to delay next week's stream, um, if I do that, then I'll just release a completed pages video in place of a live stream for next week. And that might give me a day to, um, that maybe that will give me a chance to like catch up on some stuff. Because since I generally structure my day around, my Tuesdays around being live, like, I don't generally do any, like, errands on that day unless, for some reason, I have to go, I have to delay my Monday grocery shopping. Um... Honestly, that might be, like, that honestly might be that might be a good thing. Because completed pages videos generally don't take too super long to film. And if I if I do that, then I still have something to put out for you guys, and it gives me it gives me a catch up day, because then I can at least start filming for some future future projects and work on what I need to get ready for the dude to come on Wednesday. Like, I want to get, like, I want it to be, like, if, unless, you know, it's, like, a, sh like, a short notice cancellation, like, you know, something happens to my kid or an animal or my husband or, you know, like, unforeseen circumstances. Like, if that happens, obviously, I probably am not going to have something to fill, like, to fill that spot. But if it's like a plan, like a planned thing, I would prefer to have something to put in its place. So like when I'm gone this summer for, um, for my two weeks, then, and I know that I'm going to be gone for those two weeks, then I can plan ahead to have something to fill the slot push products that's fair I mean those videos do really do generally do well um but if I'm gonna do unless it's like a book that's a little a little different but as far as as far as that goes, like, unless it's a product that I'm really, like, oh my god, I'm so super stoked about, or if I show you guys something on a live and you want to see more about it, that's, that's one thing, but for, I'm kind of at the point where there's not really anything that I need supply-wise, um, And I'm not really a, I just, I'm, there are people that are way better at reviews and, and whatnot than I, than I am. Um, and that's, you know, what their, their kind of niche is. And that's great. I'm just not one of them. And 
And so, I don't know. I just, I'm enjoying focusing on... I'm always here to babysit on wanted supplies. I, that's, and that's also part of it for, for me. I am want to try and start using things that I've bought and not used because they intimidated me. Or just, I just haven't, haven't used them, so... I'm hoping to start incorporating that into the two the tutorials. And I don't always swatch my supplies as blasphemous as I'm I'm sure some people are collectively gasping. I'll put swatching videos on in the background, like when I'm doing other, like other things. I just, I don't find swatching relaxing to do. Unless I am legitimately, like, uncertain about a supply. And even then, generally, I'll just, um, I'll grab the colors that I think I want to use and test the test those, but I don't know. I like swatching paint. I don't like swatching pencils. Yes, that's, and it's, I find it easier, but like easier to swatch paint, you know, like, cause generally if I'm building a palette or testing a, a paint, it's like, I don't need 150 paint colors in my palette. So it doesn't take me as long to like to swatch I don't know. I, I guess I just, I like the teaching, you know, like I enjoy the, the, the tutorial aspect of it. And it's just, it's been much more enjoyable for me to record that style of videos. I mean, I'm sure the the switch to you know just one primarily one um video a week has has made growth a bit slower but it's much easier on my mental health um to like I'm usually working on more than one project but to focus on, I need to get this one video done and try and do it well, than to feel like I have to just pump videos, videos out was incredibly draining. Um, and then anything else is like, is a bonus, you know. Book flip throughs don't take too super long to do, so I can, you know, pop one of those out real quick during the week if something comes out. 
and then on top of that, you know, focusing on hiccups on, you know, my, my Saturday content. And then on top of that, I'm also doing digital, like digital art and, um, putting together products for like future, like merchandise and things like that. So you know, I am, I'm doing other, like other things. So it's really just about, um, consistency and balance, work life balance. And pieces and like, I hit a point where I, feel like whipping chats were also stressful for me to film it almost felt like i was just filming filler content and at that point there wasn't i mean there's really my life's kind of boring you know um much like going on in, in my life that i wanted to share or that i felt like um I wanted to like to talk about and it just really felt like then I was sitting there like pulling out my own teeth to try and find stuff to talk about because you know I'm sitting here like by myself and so it's much easier to incorporate that into these like lives because you know we're sitting here having like a conversation with each other and then to just sit and do a 30 minute tutorial and talk through my process is so much less stressful on me, I feel like at this point. And I have plans to incorporate some other art into some videos down the, down the road, you know? So there will be other, like other thing. Slow growth is good growth. That is very true. And I think it's more about like consistent growth and building a community of people who actually like want to watch and engage with my, my content and you know that I want to watch and engage with, with them and with theirs. And so that's just kind of where my, my mindset is. I mean, it would be, it would be nice as a, you know, a, a goal because I'm, I'm obviously not doing this to get, to get rich. I do consider it my job right, right now because I can't really work full time with the health stuff going on. And I would be content if I got to a point where I could consistently make what I'm about to lose when I retire. I've mentioned that before, you know. And it would be nice if it, if it could contribute to the rest of my overall, like, family income. Find the people who click with you. Yes. And it, you know, just setting like reasonable goals and reasonable like expectations and. I really like the way that, um, that blue, like. The white blends that blue into the purple. I really like that. Favorite YouTubers, you, Ryan and Chris Chang tutorial videos, and I love the mindset that you have. Thank you, Stardust. That really, like, your guys' comments and support are definitely a, uh, a huge, 
um, motivator to keep doing this. Can't work full time either since having to get needed therapies that you did as a child and before you graduated high school. Yeah, I um, the military broke me. The reality is, eventually, I will have to find something outside of the uh, the house to do. But until they figure out what they're going to do with um, with my thyroid, I just I have so many like appointments that I don't want to. Go out, get hired, be like, I got 20 appointments. Hey, I know I've only been working here for six months, but uh, they're going to read eat my thyroid and I'm going to have to self-isolate for, you know, five days. So five to ten days. And then I'm going to be radioactive for months. I just, that's not the kind of like impression I want to leave on an employer. No more than get hired and have to apply for FMLA. immune treatment I have um that was actually suggested to me for um as part of like my anxiety treatment like is the like just the the medication itself like side effects from it or But yeah, I have um, an autoimmune condition and eventually I'll get to the point where they'll either have to remove my thyroid or nuke it and I'm not, I'm not keen on either idea, but I'm actually less keen on the uh, radioactive iodine therapy than if they just take it out. I mean, there's risks to both, but... Uh, treatment didn't work for me, just like a few hours and too much buzz due to the side effects. Oh, so it didn't last. Fentanyl patches and a bunch of other medications. Of course, no treatment is available to eradicate the disease. Well, I am very sorry that you are having to um, to go through that. Friggin' sucks. Hey, the purple flowers look nice. Thank you. If I get you guys a little close.
and no camera flickering today, even though the my camera is currently telling me that it, it's overheating. Well, at least now I have solved that issue. Mystery solved. And it was so dumb. Like, I went through all of this, like, oh my god, is it the the usb port on my laptop is it the camera let me get a you know a canon approved battery pack and you know what it was so i noticed that it didn't do it at all during the last live stream and i was painting and so when i was recording the other day it did it and i realized my sharpener my electric um my electric sharpener was sitting towards the back of my desk and the uh, HDMI cable connection from the camera to the PC runs. So I have it wrapped around my, um, uh, my mount and down the back of my, my desk. And so apparently the connection on the camera is actually a little loose. So when I would reach over to sharpen my pencil, I was bumping that cable and that was what was causing the flickering. So I moved my sharpener over uh, to a different spot on my desk so that I'm nowhere near that cable and I haven't had the issue once this stream. It was just... um. So apparently there's, I, I use the Canon M200 and apparently there is some kind of like firmware issue that they haven't patched yet where the camera um, will tell you, like it'll give you the little overheat icon, even though the camera is not actually over overheating. And so I thought that there was something wrong with the camera and then um it was flickering like on stream and it would look like it was like almost like the sh like the shutter was opening and closing but it's a loose connection with the uh, usb or hdmi cable connection on the camera itself Okay, I'm going to try and finish these little guys up here, and then that will probably be it for today. Well, at least they figured out what, um, what it was. So, that's good. Hopefully they gave you something that'll help. But yeah, it was um because when it started doing it, it was right in the midst of like all of the other like tech, you know, when my PC died and I was like, oh, great, cool. I'm about to lose another piece of equipment. And thankfully, uh, thankfully I was able to figure it out because... It was definitely frustrating.
I'm not ready to end the stream. I, I've got a few few more minutes, but usually I try and um this, this would normally be when my um my kid would be home from school. Um I usually try and end around this time because then it gives me uh it gives me well I, I usually try and end a little earlier than this, but um, it gives me a chance to kind of like decompress because uh, live content is stressful sometimes, even when it doesn't seem like it's stressful, but just the like the the actual of like being on for like three to four hours. I need my brain to reset. So usually I'll go sit and I'll have a snack. And uh, I've got some laundry and whatnot to do. Yeah, we can run a little bit long. Which is, is fine, because my husband doesn't get home until um, for another like hour and a half. And I'm not cooking dinner tonight. Like... My kid's supposed to cook on Tuesdays. I'll do the dishes if he cooks, but... He's stressed having had to watch my language for four hours. I mean, I've sworn a couple times. As long as it's not, like, excessive. And, I mean, being military, yeah, that's... That's that's a feat. doing live because your head would be in the middle of the the screen all the time yeah there's been a couple times i've had to be careful like not to lean too far forward and that is definitely tough because um some of these little like niggly details but if i do not only will my head be on the camera because it's like right there and there's about like this much distance between the the camera and my face but then the microphone is like right here. So if I lean too far forward, I will also smash my face into the microphone. Oh, look at that perfect stream wind down music. It's like the end of a yoga session when they play the super relaxing music and you just lay on the floor and stretch, 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 stretch. So I think these are supposed to also be like these, but I'm... But these have different petal shapes. So. I'm going to have to play that by ear what I do with these. These might end up just being like some kind of like cream or off off white. The little the little purple flowers. I'll go in at the uh, at the end. If I remember, um, I'll have to jot these down. Um, it might not get updated today. But I will, when I update the photo for the, um, the thumb, the thumbnail, I will put the combos in the description. 
but they do look a bit different than the other small flowers. Yeah, I think these up up here might be because I was kind of going off of like this little like bud right here looks like it matches up with these so that was kind of where I went with those so I'm okay with these up here being the same color as these and also I like that that brings the purple to the top of the page and I think um these I think this right here is the same as these which I like because then that will allow me to bring some of this color whatever I choose for this over to this side of the page and then these almost look like um Um, the purple ones are lilacs. They do kind of look like lilacs, yes. Or not, not, not blue bonnets. Um, hold on a second. They actually, um, they do kind of look like blue bonnets, at least these down, these down here. I think, I think these up here are the same, but it's just the angle of the petals. And then I'm trying to decide, um, if, cause these have that same like rounded, uh, petals on them as down here. These definitely are a different type of type of flower. So I'm almost thinking of just making the decision to um and I'll do it off camera. I'm almost contemplating making these also the same color as the the purple ones and then doing something different with these over like over here because that would actually give me a nice um, disbursement of three across the page. And then these I might end up just doing with like the like the light peach that I use for the rose. Or I will I'll do like the peach, the, the peach sand, um, as the base for these. And then maybe the melon as the accent. And I just won't go as deep with the oranges on them because that actually would help me since there isn't, um, another rose in here. If I pulled some of these colors, um, if I pulled some of the colors from this, not the deepest, darkest orange, and brought it over here, that would help me disperse that color across the, the page. Color six of leaf pads did a few touch-ups. That's going for a little snail me. Aw. I would love to see what you what you finished. Let me finish this up here. Because, yeah, I think if I do that, it would, um, would satisfy my rule of three my my rule of three of 
or at least give me a nice like odd number um placement Definitely. I would love to see it. And that would actually give me, if I do that, it would give me almost my little Fibonacci. So yeah, I think I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some creative choices on, on this one. Seriously, I really like this, the way this, um, the denim blue blended out on this with, um, with the white. I was a little worried about how it was going to look at first, but, um, I'm definitely happy with how that um, blended the purple and the blue. I really like the way that turned out. Cause that is, that is really the, um, the vibe that I was going for. And I might go in and put, uh, put some of the blue in a couple more spots on here. Although, just hitting it with the white again. It's kind of doing it for me. And it needs some blending, but I can't really do that without being able to like lean over it. So definitely some work to be done on it off camera. No, oh, uh, what did I do? I should have. Uh, why? 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 Why did I do that? I should have sharpened that before. Before I touch that. Although, actually, I did want to kind of erase a couple of spots. As I sit here and fiddle with it. Okay, let me zoom us out. Get a. I'm actually really happy with the way this is turning out. Although, like, now I'm looking at it and. I think the are also these. 
potentially. Or some of them. I'll have to, like, take a look. Or these are... These are the same as these up here. Because they have five petals. So actually that kind of blows my blows my theory. Okay, so that would give me That, that changes some things. Because, yeah, whatever I do with these... I'll have to bring down here now. And then there's this little random doobel. Very springy, yes. That is the... That is the, the goal. Although, I definitely got away from the pastel. Definitely push that a little, uh, a little far. I might end up having to... So, I did pull... I think I pulled a pink. Because um, I'm looking at, okay, well, let me zoom. So I think these are tulips, but I may, um, To rethink my plan. Bye, Rainbow! Thank you for hanging out! Have a good rest of your evening. So now I'm kind of pondering. I may have to go back in and um, pull a couple more colors, but didn't want too many all over my desk. But I definitely think I'm going to need a different pink. So I had pulled uh, magenta, and I think unless I can layer the magenta nicely with... Um, with something else that might be a little too purple for this color scheme. So I may need to see what else I have that, um, would work well together. Unless maybe... I might have to test out some uh, some color combinations off off camera, but all right, let me um, let me pause this. At I'm not computer. Okay, so that's gonna be it for me for today. Um, hopefully I will be able to get a video out for you guys. Uh, I'll be, hopefully I'll be able to work on something tomorrow, uh, for Saturday. Um, I should be able to get it done if I get up early enough in the morning and start working, working on it. Um, and then I will have a little bit of time Thursday morning to like do any ad admin stuff. 
So I should be able to get should be able to get the mushroom video done Saturday. Um freebie coloring page will go out on Friday. I think what I'm going to do for next week, I think I am going to film a completed pages video. Uh it'll be for February and March. And that will take the place of the Tuesday next week's Tuesday live. So you guys still have something to watch in that slot. Um and that will just give me a little extra time next week to kind of reset my brain and get back on track. Um because then I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do for videos for next week. I also want to I have the book out and I've played like I've I've played around with some stuff, but I also want to work on um Ryan's uh Atlantis color along. So I'm pondering how that will gonna but everything is like up in the air right now. But um I'll keep you guys updated over on the community tab if uh with whatever I end up having to change but yeah i think more than likely that's probably gonna be what next week looks for looks like so um that was i i think yeah i'm glad glad you concur with that idea because it actually kind of eases some of my my brain right now but um thank you guys so much thank you for hanging out thank you for all of your support um I really like the way this is turning out so far, so I definitely will keep working on it. And I just carry the chroma flow through the month. Just, you know, incorporate it with the exception of um Ryan's color along, because I already have uh I already have a plan for that one. Um but have a great rest of your Tuesday. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you next one.